I was a student of world religions. Um, I was brought up in a liberal household. Um, I was brought up in a free-thinking household. One of the things that uh, I found paradoxical about religion is that I could see that there were people who weren't happy with their religion but couldn't convert. And so it, it just, to me, it was paradoxical that people would be committed to something that wasn't really working for them. And conversion model started with me trying to think about the factors that stopped people from converting when something wasn't working for them. Um, and to cut a long story short, I discovered that there are three factors. It's actually quite simple, and it's very quick. If you want to know how close somebody is to converting, you need to ask them if they're happy or not. But secondly, you have to ask them if it's important to them. Because an unhappy person will not convert if something is important to them. And the third thing you have to ask is, is there any other option? Because an unhappy person will not convert if there's no other option. So the grounds of, for the conversion model was looking at why unhappy people with a religion didn't convert. But in the end, we found that it, it applies to every domain uh, and markets as well. And the first categories we tried it on were banking and beer. Because we thought if we can crack banking and we can crack beer, we can crack anything. Um, the key to its use in other categories is that the factors are universal. And all you need to do is formulate the questions to, to, in a universal way. And they are the same three questions. So what I'm going to ask you, no matter what the category is, how satisfied are you with the brands you use? First question. Second question is, how important are they to you? Are they important or not? If the brand of laundry detergent that you use is not important to you, then it doesn't matter if you're satisfied. You could easily switch to something else that makes you just as satisfied. And the third question is, how do you rate the competitors? And if you rate a competitor better, then I know that you're at risk. If you rate the competitors worse, then I know you're not at risk. So it's, very, it's actually really simple. Three because they're universal questions. And they work in all product categories and they work in all countries because they're human. They, every human being thinks about the options they have, evaluates them. And so asking somebody, you know, you might be using this. Is there anything better if they say yes? Then I know that you're at risk. The old conversion model really only looked at two things. It had a look at whether you could grow by acquiring new customers and it had a look at um, how you maintain your existing business by stopping customers from defecting. So the old conversion model was about acquisition and defection. The new conversion model is based on the recognition that in all product categories, and we've shown this with our research, from laundry detergents to banking to airlines to retail, in all product categories, service categories and packaged goods categories, most of the change in market share comes from existing customers who don't leave, but who start using you less. And if you improve your market share, most of the improvements in market share come from existing customers using you more. So the big difference between the old conversion model and the new conversion model is it's much better at finding out how to get existing customers to give you more business and how to stop existing customers from giving you less business.